morning. Namaste. Uh, my name is Amanda. And this is Aura Pose Hatha Yoga. Let's get started by coming to find a comfortable seat. The gaze might be down at the floor, or you might close your eyes. Palms might be face up on the legs, index finger and thumb touching. Or you might like to have one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Inhaling, reaching tall through the spine and crown of the head. Exhale, rooting down to the sit bones, feeling the legs as they are supported by the earth. Take a few breaths to settle into your body, bringing your awareness inward and out of the body to the monkey mind. Ask yourself, how am I feeling today? How am I feeling mentally, physically, spiritually? What does my body need from my practice this morning? And frame an intention for your practice. We'll gather the hands at heart center and Namaste Mudra, opening our practice with three ohms. Inhaling to prepare. Ah. for practice today, Atta Yoga Anusasanam. It is Sanskrit for yoga is being in the now, the first yoga sutra, interpreted by Patanjali. And, or yoga is being present in the moment. So we will start by a few rounds of um, chanting the mantra again, I would just like to remind my students that um, this has no religious affiliation, so it works for all beliefs. You are just simply chanting yoga is the here and the now. You might close the eyes or bring the gaze gently forward as the palms face up, index finger and thumb come to touch call and response. Atta yoga anusasanam Atta yoga anusasanam Atta yoga Anusasanam 
Atta Yoga Anusasanam Atta Yoga Anusasanam Atta Yoga Anusasanam Atta Yoga Anusasanam Atta Yoga Anusasanam All together Atta Yoga Anusasanam Atta Yoga Anusasanam Atta Yoga Anusasanam Atta Yoga Anusasanam Quieter Atta Yoga Anusasanam Atta Yoga Anusasanam And silently to yourself Yoga is being here in the now. Gently blinking the eyes open, placing the hands onto the belly for abdominal breathing. Feeling the belly raise and sink back in with the breath. And you can stay here with the hands on the abdomen, if you have high blood pressure, dizziness, vertigo, or constipation, stay with the hands on the abdomen. Otherwise, we will begin Kalabhati Kriya with a forceful exhale and passive inhale. You might keep the hands on the belly or you might Reach the arms forward, lengthening through the elbows, index finger and thumb come to touch. Inhale to prepare, and with my clap, exhale. Relaxing the jaw muscle, relaxing the neck and shoulders, eyebrows. Two, one, exhale, hold at the bottom of the exhale. Eyes are closed, engaging the mulabandha, the root lock. Keeping your root lock, take a deep inhale. Holding at the top of the inhale. And exhale, release your Muladhara root lock. Inhale into your first chakra. I said Muladhara, I meant Muladhanda. Muladhara is the first chakra. Exhale completely. Inhale into your second chakra, your sacral chakra. Exhale. And inhale into the third chakra, the solar plexus. And exhale, begin 
breathing normal as you feel any sensations of the body. Gently blinking the eyes open. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, see curve to the right as you reach open through the left side of the body. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, over to the left. And moving with the breath, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, C curve to the side. Inhale to lift. Exhale, second side. Continuing with the breath. Twice more on each side. Exhaling, hands come beside you down to the hips. Bringing the soles on the feet together for a butterfly pose. Knees open out to the sides. Hands can take the, in, the shins, ankles, or feet as you inhale, reaching tall to the spine and crown of the head. Exhale, hinging forward from the hips. The elbows might press into the inside of the knees as you lengthen the groin and lower back. Pretend to low back, keeping the chest lifted and the back flat. Otherwise, you can round the back, drawing the forehead towards the feet. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, tucking the chin to the chest, rounding the back, cat. Inhale, chin lifts, chest comes forward, gentle back bend, cow. Exhale, chin to chest, round the back, cat. Inhale, gentle back bend. Continuing with your own breath. Atta Yoga Anusasanam. Being here in the now. Exhale, coming back to center. Reaching your legs out forward. All right, staff pose. Feet might be hip distance apart. Here you go. 
for tight hamstrings or tender low back, bringing the feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And hands come to the tops of the thighs. If you can, flex the feet and engaging through the thighs, reaching tall to the spine and crown the head as the chest reaches forward. And inhale, reach the hands forward, clasping them together as you hinge forward. Exhale, hands reach towards the feet. Inhale, leaning back, chest raises, engaging through the abdomen. Exhale, hinging forward. Continuing with your breath. Gently warming up the spine. Pressing down through the heels. And the next time you exhale, stay forward. Hands might take the shins, ankles, or feet. Forward fold. Again, for a tender low back or hamstrings, keeping the back flat, chest lifted. Otherwise, you can round the back, drawing the forehead towards the knees. Inhale, coming back up to center, clasping the hands in front of you again. Exhale, going forward and to the right. Inhale, back to the left like you're stirring a big cauldron. Engaging through the obliques and sides of the ribs. Exhale and coming forward and reverse your rotation. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, hands release down to the sides. Bending the knees, finding tabletop, Marjorie Austin. Hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, lifting the chin, belly down, tailbone up, cow. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding the back, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Continuing with your own breath. And inviting any intuitive movement, you might like to circle out the rib cage or circle the hips back and circle them forward, stretching out the sides of the body and gently undulating the spine.
And if you're circling, reverse your rotation. And when you're ready, inhale onto neutral spine. Exhale, big toes together, knees out wide. Child's pose, malasana. Breathing deep into the low back. And exhale and releasing any tension into the earth. Inhale and coming forward into plank. Knees might be down on the mat or lifted as the hips come forward, hugging the navel towards the spine. Relaxing the jaw and neck muscles, the face. Tucking the toes under, lifting the heels and hips, downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet and bending alternate knees. Grounding through the next finger and thumb as you activate the shoulders by pressing away from the ground. Taking a deep inhale in, sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> One more deep inhale, exhale out the mouth. <sighs> inhale, raise the right leg, three-legged dog. Hips are square to the mat. Weight is even in both hands. Activating through the right glutes and hamstring. Exhale, drawing the knee towards the nose, coming forward into plank. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, step the right foot forward, low lunge. Left knee can stay lifted or might come down onto the mat for more support. Hands are framing the front foot. Activate your thighs towards one another. Hugging the navel towards the spine. You might stay with the hands on the ground for more support. Or maybe you inhale, bring the hands to the top of the knee. Reaching up tall. The hands might reach up to the sky. Exhale, twisting to the right towards the bent knee, reaching the arms out wide. You might keep the arms out wide or you might stay in your twist, bringing your hands into Namaskar Mudra, hooking the outside of the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. 
if you go there and you find yourself not being able to breathe, you have gone too far. Yoga is being here and now. Inhale, arms reach up and center. Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot, stepping back into plank. And from plank, your choice, child's pose or downward facing dog. We meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting the left leg, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, drawing forward into a plank. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot forward, low lunge. Finding whichever variation you had on the first side. Scissoring the hips towards one another. Inhale, arms come to the tops of the knee or reach them up towards the sky. Exhale, twisting to the left, arms open out wide or maybe come into Namaskar Mudra as you hook your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Right hip activates forward as the left hip draws back. Inhale, reach the arms up and center. Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot plank. If you like more of a challenge, you might bend and dip one knee towards the mat and then bringing it back to center. Inhale, the opposite side. Exhale, the first side. And exhale your choice, child's pose or downward facing dog. Atta Yoga Anusasanam. Finding downward dog, if you're not already there, inhale, three-legged dog, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, low lunge, right foot steps forward. Hands are framing the front foot. If you're feeling really stable, you might inhale, reach the arms up, coming into high lunge. Back knee is lifted. Exhale, cactus the arms out to the sides. Inhale to lift. Dipping the knee, exhale, cactusing the arms out to the sides. Inhale, lift. See if you can keep your hips glued in place as you dip your knee. Exhale, cactus and dip. Inhale, lift. We'll add three rounds of lion's breath. Exhale, sticking out the tongue, eyes open wide. Inhale. Exhale. Last round of lion's breath. Inhale. And exhale, open the arms out to the sides as the back foot spirals to pointing towards the long edge of the mat, warrior two. Front knee bends, pointed or activating towards the pinky side edge of the foot. Inhale, exalt your warrior, right arm reaches up, reaching through the side ribs. And inhale, lengthening the front leg, preparing for triangle, trikonasana. Exhale, hands reach out to the sides, right arm reaches forward until you cannot go forward any farther. Right hand comes down to the shin, ankle or ground, left arm reaches up. Finding the half bind, exhale, left arm comes to the low back behind you, shining that left shoulder up towards the sky. And bending the right knee, hands spiral down to frame the front foot, step back into plank. And exhale, finding child's pose or downward facing dog. Finding down dog if you're not already there. Inhale, left leg raises, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps forward, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms out to the side. Inhale to lift. Exhale, dipping the knee. Inhale, lift. Keeping those hips stable. Three rounds of lion's breath. As you exhale, tongue sticks out wide, eyes open. <sighs> Inhale, happy lion. <sighs> A last round, brave lion. 
Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, opening to warrior two, second side. Front knee is activating towards the outside of the foot. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Inhale, exalt your warrior. Left arm reaches up, reaching through the side ribs. Inhale, lengthening the left leg, trikonasana, triangle pose. Exhale, left arm reaches forward, then comes down to take the shin, ankle, and mat as the right arm reaches up. Exhale, right arm comes behind the low back to find the half bind. It might even bring the fingertips to the thigh, the left thigh. Opening that right shoulder up towards the sky. And bending the front knee, exhale, hands we roll down to frame the front foot, stepping back into plank. Exhale, child's pose or downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg, bending the knee, spinning the hip open, keeping the weight distributed in both hands evenly. You might circle the knee to massage the ball and socket joint of the hip. Reverse your rotation. And exhale, bringing the knee forward, finding pigeon. Coming to rest the right leg down on the mat as it's bent. Walk the hips back, check in with your back leg. It should be straight behind you. The closer your right foot is to your body, the more gentle this pose is, the more parallel your shin is with, with the front of the mat, the more uh, <laughs> advanced this pose is. Hands are framing the front knee. If this is painful for your front knee, I'll offer a modification for you. Or if you know how to find threat, uh, figure four, you can go right there. So inhale, reaching tall through the spine and crown of the head. Exhale releasing the body over the front knee. You might like to prop up on the forearms to give yourself more support, or some of you might be able to release the head down to the mat. For those of you who this is painful for the knee, you can come to lie on the back, bringing the right ankle to the top of the left knee Pressing the right knee away from you as you thread the hands through behind the left thigh, drawing the left knee toward, towards you. And my pigeons can walk their hands back to beneath the shoulders, pressing the spine tall. You might just stay here finding a gentle back bend, or maybe you can bend the left knee, opening the left hand behind you to take the 
foot. If you have a cramp, it's because you are um, engaging the muscle. So relax the relax the muscle. It also helps if you have a strap or a belt that you can loop around the foot. And then actively press the foot closer to the body to open through the front of the shoulder, stretching out the quad. Some of you might even be able to balance bringing the right hand behind you to interlace the fingers behind the head. King pigeon. Exhale, releasing the foot back down to the mat as the hands frame the front knee. Inhale, stepping back into downward facing dog. If you're in figure four, you can just find the other side when you're ready. And for my pigeons, you might like to again, bend the knee, spin the hip open, just to massage out all of that work we just did. Exhale, right foot comes down. As you inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog, bending the knee, spin the hip open, circling out the knee. Reverse your rotation. And exhale, left knee comes forward, finding pigeon on the second side. Walking your hips back as the right leg is straight behind you. Inhale, lifting the chest and spine tall. Exhale, walking the hands forward to release over the leg. Atta Yoga Anusasana. How can you be here in the moment on your mat right now? Inhaling, hands walk back to Underneath the shoulders, reaching tall through the spine, finding a gentle back bend or bending the right knee, taking the foot with the right hand, finding whichever variation you had on the first side. Gentle smile on the face. Releasing your right foot down, hands come to the front of the mat as you inhale, pressing up and back into down dog. And maybe if you like to bring the left leg up one more time, bending the knee, spinning the hip open. Exhale, left leg drops down. And making your way onto the belly, inhale, coming forward into plank. 
Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, elbows, hug to the side. Making your way onto the belly. Hands are reaching back towards your hips, preparing for bow pose. Bending the knees, soles of the feet come up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lifting the chest and chin up off the mat. As your hands reach back towards your ankles, knees lift. You might even be able to take the hands to the ankles as you press the feet away from the hands, opening through the front of the chest and shoulders, trying to activate your knees towards one another so they are hip distance apart. If your hands don't reach your feet, you can always just keep the energy of reaching back towards your feet and it's just as strengthening. Exhale, forehead comes down to the mat as you create a pillow with the backs of your hands, windshield wiper, your feet from side to side. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, out the mouth. Ha. And when you're ready, you're pressing up and back into child's pose, knees together to lengthen the lower back. Of course, if this does not feel good for you, you can always bring the knees out wide. Inhale, coming forward to tabletop, to tabletop, coming to lie on the back. Preparing for a shoulder stand, or if you don't have shoulder stand in your practice, you can just bring the legs up or come over to a wall, bring the legs up the wall for a gentle inversion. If you have shoulder stand, engage it through the abdomen, lifting the legs up to the sky as you reach the elbows towards one another, bring the hands to the lower back, pointing the toes up towards the sky, engaging through the thighs, engaging through the abdomen. Your spine is completely off, off the mat as your shoulders support you. And exhale, plow pose, the feet bend over your head. You might even be able to touch the feet to the mat in front of you. Hands might stay on the lower back or you might be able to lengthen the hands on the mat, bringing the palms face down or interlacing the fingers behind you. Very slowly, with helping hands, rolling down one vertebra at a time. Lengthening the legs down on the mat in front of you. Taking a deep breath in. Sigh out the mouth. Hugging the knees into the belly, gently rock from side to side. The head might look in the opposite direction of the knees. Bringing 
the right ankle to the outside of the left knee, the left foot might come onto the mat. Hands come out into a T-shape as you let the knees drop over to the left side, finding a gentle supine twist. Left hand might come to the outside of the right knee. Or if you have a different variation of this twist, you are welcome to find that. Atta yoga anusasana. Not thinking about your future, not thinking about your past, being right here in the moment. Inhaling, coming back to center. Right foot comes down on the mat as the left ankle crosses to the outside of the right knee. Exhale, knees fall over to the right side as the right hand comes to the outside of the left knee. Gaze might be over the left shoulder. Inhaling, coming back to center, bringing the feet out wide as the knees are bent. Windshield like for the knees from side to side. Opening the knees out to the side, bring the soles of the feet together for a reclined butterfly pose. You might like to bring one hand to the chest, one hand to the belly, or create a halo over the head to open through the front of the chest. If this is too intense of a sensation for you, for this hip opener, you can bring the feet out wide and allow the knees to drop towards one another to touch. Taking three deep belly breaths in. Sighing out through the mouth, releasing any tension. When you're ready, lengthening the legs in front of you, finding corpse pose or shavasana as the hands come beside you next to the hips. You might also like to find a wall to bring legs up the wall for a gentle inversion. Maybe closing the eyes. Taking the last few minutes of your practice to be here in the now, in the present moment. You might like to do the square breathing that we practiced before the inhale of three, exhale of three, 
and pause at the top and the bottom of the breath. And then maybe turning it into rectangle breathing with a longer exhale.
into the body, feeling the fingers and toes. Inhale, reach the right arm up overhead as you come to lie in a fetal position on the right side of the body. And slowly, with helping hands, find your way to a comfortable sitting position. Palms face up, index finger and thumb come to touch. Inhale, reaching tall for the spine and crown of the head. Exhale, rooting down to the sit bones. And just meditating for two moments on the third eye between the eyebrows. Your sense of intuition and connection with one another. here in the now. Hatha Yoga Anusasana. Gathering hands at heart center, Namaskar Mudra. Come back to your intention you set for your practice today. Honoring your intention all the hard work you just did. Congratulations. Offering gratitude to your body as it has supported you throughout your practice today, throughout your lifetime. All of the things our body takes care of for us that we don't even think of. Thank you, body. We'll close our practice with one ohm and three shantis. Inhaling to prepare. Ah. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Now 
namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you're feeling good. And as always, let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Um, and take care. See you next time.